After a torrid year, a new man in charge. Andy Robinson, we'll hear from him. Mike Ruddock makes his home debut as the new Welsh coach. We'll be hearing from him and his new captain, Gareth Thomas. And we'll look at South Africa's rugby progress, including the recent transformation under Jake Wyatt into the new Tri-Nations champions. I think the England job is the biggest job in world rugby. It's right to move on. And it's as simple, simple, simple as that. Andy, you've been confirmed as England's head coach. How has it been so far? Well, I've had a couple of weeks. It's been uh, very good. You know, I've um, enjoyed the interaction with the coaches um, and also the players. And uh, yeah, I think I understood what a tough job Clive had now. Under Clive, you know, you were one of the assistant coaches, and the camaraderie between you and the likes of Phil Larder and Dave Allred would have been at a certain level. But now you're the boss. I suppose it's a bit like when I was captain of Bath that you know a, you, you move up into uh, you know, in terms of uh, being in charge. But also, I believe that you know we have an environment where everybody can speak, and I think that you know, you know, whilst I'm I'm in charge, that everybody still has the ability to speak and, and speak their mind. And I think that you know, that hasn't changed. I think he was nearly not going to make the tour for an ankle injury, but he's desperate for them in their lead. Eddie Andrews, another big. That whole front row is huge, and I think it's really going to cause uh, the Welsh front row some problems. This second row is brilliant. Victor Matfield is like a, a South African version of Martin Johnson, and this back row is marauding, and they were going to be everywhere in um, Wales' face. And Nia Kirk, he's going to be alongside uh, Salt Burger doing everything. Yeah, and Fully Dupree has, has been extremely well. He snipes around the, the scrums, malls. But this, is, this guy's crucial. Jogger van der Vesse is a vet body. Destructive in, in midfield, and Mary Schubert has been scoring for fun in the Tri Nations. Uh, Ashwin Will MC has come in purely for pace with uh, Pulse as well. But Montgomery plays for the Dragons, plays in Newport. Huge influence on the Springboks, the kicking game. And with an average age of 23, this is a squad of players that could go on to dominate world rugby, isn't it? They could, you just worry sometimes about their mentality. Um, and I don't mean that in a derogatory way, it's just that they can get carried away with how good they are. And I think the great thing that Jake White has done with Schmidt, the captain, is bring them back down to earth and say, look, we're, we could be, this could be the start of something really special. And if they were to do the Grand Slam over here, then they could go back proud as one of the very few teams to actually come over here and do that. Eleven black and coloured players in the squad, which is the highest ever proportion. He's got his critics back at home for fast-tracking talent into the side, maybe through political pressures, I don't know, but it's just another reason why this squad has to succeed, isn't it? He's, he's come through the ranks, hasn't he, with the, you know, the youngsters in 21, so he knows all the, the young players, the up-and-coming players. So, you know, if he thinks they're good enough, you know, he will bring them. Where they had pressure, you know, from, from someone is another matter, but it's a very strong squad, and if some of these players come to fruition and they, you know, they can work class players, so be it. If some of them fail, there's always some, some more back home, you know, some, some players, South African players, who can fill. What he's done is he's given them the history of the jersey, the tradition of the Springbok jersey, and, and to respect it when, they, when they've selected for them. And the Grand Slam starts today. If they think Scotland and Wales are going to be, you know, the weaker sides, they're making a big mistake because if they fail today, the Grand Slam's gone. I think that's, that's what he's been, you know, putting over to these players. Well, we've got the New Zealand legend Sean Fitzpatrick down on the touchline to summarise the events for us today, and he's down there with Jill Douglas. You know, it's remarkably mild down here today. Not much for the South Africans to complain about. We've had a little bit of rain, but not enough for them to consider closing the roof at all. This pitch might be just a little bit greasy. And Sean, do you think the conditions will have much of an impact on today's game? I don't think so. I think both teams will, will cope with it well, um, especially South Africa. Um, they're a team that uh, can play in any conditions, as it's shown through the Tri-Nations, and a team that is, is hugely powerful up front. And uh, it's an area probably that, uh, that Wales may struggle. We've enjoyed listening to the band down here, but we've also been watching the Welsh team warm up. What do you make of them? Well, I was just saying, saying to you, it's the first time I, I've really thought they, they look like a real rugby team. They look, look strong, um, they look fit, and they look excited. But um, they're up against it today. They're against a, a very good team throughout, from 1 to, 1 to 15 in South Africa, a strong forward pack, and their biggest problem being enough ball um, so they can use their backs.
You say a strong forward pack, probably at the moment the best pack of forwards playing rugby in the world, led of course by their captain John Smith. What impact will he have on this match? Just how influential is he? Oh, he's an inspirational player. He's, he's, he's hugely respected by his own players and by the opposition. Um, so he'll, he'll have a big influence. Um, they've brought back a bit of tradition to, to world rugby and uh, something that Jake White has introduced. And uh, their forwards are forwards and backs are backs. And they've got some big forwards that are going to do the job, that's for sure. First term should be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks very much, Sean. Back to you, Steve. <laughs> you know, we haven't been winning our scrums and line outs under... Uh... So that's what should happen. Yeah, that's exactly. So hopefully... Uh, hopefully, you know, surprise uh, could be in store today, but, um, you know, it's it's going to be a big ask. We need parity and quick ball. So Gareth Thomas leads out Wales, and the huge task is about to begin. In front of a Millennium Stadium crowd uh, that is far from full, uh, which will be a huge disappointment and a rather dispiriting one for this Welsh side. But the opposition will inspire them, I'm sure. The Autumn International is about to get underway with the toughest match of all for Wales. Wales against South Africa. Brian Moore and Eddie Butler are here for us. A very good afternoon from the depths of the Millennium Stadium. The flag hanging high over the stadium. Wales are at home, but it's a home that isn't fully populated. We've got some minutes to go before kickoff, Brian, but. Oh, I don't know. I thought this might have packed the house out. Well, I was saying that definitely well, sold 57,000 tickets. There's nowhere near that in the ground at the moment, which uh, is more people will come. But uh, it's an exciting South African side. And it's a pity more people aren't here to see them. The champions of the Tri Nations. Two thumping victories at home against Australia and New Zealand. Here's their anthem. Here once in 1999, they've only ever lost once to Wales. They did draw back in 1970. Gareth Thomas, captain of Wales today, he scored a try on that day when Wales beat the Springboks. My
Gareth Thomas back on home soil. Mike Ruddock, the new Welsh coach, his first home game here. Well, it's not entirely true, he did coach Romania. But here's the team he's chosen. Gareth Thomas of Toulouse. Captain of the new look Welsh team. A lot of responsibility on the utility back who's found a home at fullback. And up front, Ryan Jones wins the first cap at number eight. He is one of six Joneses in this Welsh team. The entire front row is Jones. Two in the back row, and Stephen Jones, who also plays his rugby in France, at number ten. South Africa. Ashwin Willemser comes in at number 11 on the wing. Extra pace if ever the Springboks needed it. And up front, there's huge power and no mean degree of pace too. And in the back row, Skok Berger, player of the year in South Africa. The 21-year-old winning his 18th cap today. One of the great fetchers, as they call their blindside flankers. Paddy O'Brien of New Zealand is going to blow today. Any comments on Paddy, Brian? No, he's one of the more experienced referees, fine, but uh, him, hopefully he'll have little to do with this game. But uh, he'll have to keep well, he'll have to keep a, a yard behind the what is this, a fantastic South African back row. Here we go then. Game one of the Lloyd's TSB Autumn Series. Wales at home against the Springboks. John Smith, hooker and captain of the Springboks, has laid down what he says is the tone of the tour. Captain. They are after the Grand Slam. But this is the Millennium Stadium. Wales are at home. They start as underdogs, but they too want to get this new age of Mike Ruddock at home off to a winning start. Right the line out. Ball into touch. Dwayne Peel, nine. Can't stop the quick start by Brayton Pulsa. Let it go, let it go, take it off. Juan, Juan Smith, number seven. Jakob van der Westhuizen, one of two players in the Springbok side who do not play in South Africa. Shane Williams, the danger runner for Wales in broken play. Let it go. Wales commit forwards Run to away. the ruck. Run away. <laughs> Hands out. Hands Hand in out. the ruck, first penalty against Wales. And that may well be a microcosm of Wells' difficulties today. Ball taken in, small physique, not able to get the ball down quickly enough. He got tied up and then a helping hand yeah. had to come in. And uh, unfortunately a penalty all of Wales making. Support is there, but he's not round far enough, early enough. As a consequence, someone has to try and dig it out. Do you think, Brian, that Wales will have to commit uh, forwards who are giving away half a stone a man? They might have to commit more to the ruck situation. Well, unfortunately, they've got to win the ball, and the difficulty is if it's not placed properly, you do have to have more people to go in and free it up. Percy Montgomery yep. of the Dragons, just down the road in Newport, gets the scoring underway. The Springboks take the lead here against Wales. Three points to nil. That's not a good sign either, because Percy Montgomery is a sort of kicker who can be on fire, but can have dreadful days as well, can't he? And that was right down the middle. Very still conditions here in the Millennium Stadium. The roof is open, and Stephen Jones, just uh, two minutes after he set the game in motion, restarts from halfway. Johan Smith. Fury Dupriya takes the kicking responsibility on himself. Brian Jones just watches the ball go into touch. Fury Dupri, a nephew of Frick Dupri, who wasn't a bad player in the second row. Steve Jones there today. Very, very important job for him. Absolutely crucial that he hits the jumpers today because Wales will need that first phase ball. Little Steve Jones, only 15 stone, and there's Ryan Jones, somewhat larger, at number eight. Bad start for Wales at the line-out. They scrambled it back, but it went forward. So, trouble for Wales at the line-out. Well, that looked to me as though the communication difficulty, because the jumpers didn't go up, 
the ball sort of dropped in no man's land. I think. Uh, yeah, that's not a good Prier, either. Comfortable scrum, good defensive work. Dwayne Peel on Smith. This time the Springboks have to put the forwards in, forcing Dupree to kick. Gareth Thomas, his first touch. They'll go all the way back to the Welsh 22. Thomas was just outside it. Well, he was just outside, but I'm pretty sure there that the referee, Perry O'Brien, was very... You watch this, I think he holds onto this ball far longer than he's entitled to. He's got to let go of it there, now, now. He's on his knees, he's still holding it. Lucky. Good line-out ball from Victor Matfield. Top second row forward, Matfield, and there's the charge of Oz Durant. The giant prop, 19 stone 10. Breakdown in midfield, good defence by Wales, forcing the error. It was good defence because uh, Sawuk had three phases there that were won cleanly and quickly. Intent right from the beginning to take the game straight, try and draw men in. Simple handling error there, though. So, Peel to feel the Welsh scrum, which is giving away a lot of weight. Good scrum by Wales. Stephen Jones. Excellent clearance. Montgomery might be tempted to take it quickly, he's not. So, after one set-piece hiccup at the line-out, that's a good scrum by Wales. Stephen Jones, who now earns a crust in Montferrand, Clément Ferrand, for the Montferrand club in France. That was encouraging, actually, the uh, Jones boys in the front row. They are giving away a lot of weight, but that was very solid. South Africa went for the wheel, only achieved, what, a couple of degrees and a very solid base. John Smith, Victor Matfield wearing the green scrum cap. Bakis Buerta is the other second row, but it's again Matfield who's the target. Front ball, South Africa drive on. Furi Dupree puts up the high kick, testing, testing Hal Luscombe. Luscombe does well. The winger, raised in South Africa, now playing for Wales, winning his fifth cap. Could be turnover ball for the Springboks. Again, if Wales win it, it'll be scraped back. Wales. Wales get the put in because Luscombe was held immediately after the catch. And he did well there, didn't he? He was under pressure. This is a drive from the line -out. I couldn't understand the Welsh tactic of not competing in the line -out at all there because you're automatically giving away a ball to a huge set of forwards who then have got five or six metres to rumble. Crouch and hold only. Stand up, stand up. Go back half a pace. 3.2 kilograms per man. Half a stone. And Oz Durant the heaviest. And Stephen Jones the lightest. And that's where it hurts. So... That's not a good one. They need to get much lower on the tight head side. He's got to get the body in. His right shoulder down. Unfortunately for him, O'Brien is round that side, so he won't be able to cheat as much. But, uh, South Africa, well, Smith heads across field, Get off and that's why he's ending up two yards backwards, but they've got the ball. Oh, it's clean through, Marius Hubert for the line, Luscombe can't, Luscombe does it well, in fact, to stop the progress at the Springbok centre. Real trouble for Wales, though, Dupria, and it had to come after that break by Hubert, it's Jakob van der Westezen, who opens up the scoring with a try to add to Montgomery's earlier penalty. I need you to look at the grounding, please. Well, the referee's looking for the grounding. Thank I don't you. think there's anything wrong, really. But he's going to have a, a look with the fourth official. Yeah. It's been a horrible seven minutes for Wales, but a wonderful seven minutes for the visitors. The problem you've got there is that although... Van Niekerk ran across the field, he actually drew in two backs. As soon as the ball came back, Wales were outnumbered. The backs have got to make a decision to the drift or not. They decided to do so. And as soon as anyone steps back inside, like Joubert did there, they're all wrong-footed. Paddy O'Brien just waiting for the advice of uh, Eric Darrière of France, who's the television match official.
Gareth Thomas can only stand and watch Ryan Jones with the red head cap. I don't well, know why they didn't wait him for this. It was well, dangerous. I'm not sure whether his arm wasn't under the ball there, whether there was actually any sure. contact between ball and ground. Thank I you, can Eric. see, I can yeah. see the doubt. <laughs> Try has been awarded. Percy Montgomery lines up his second kick, this conversion after his penalty. Low, hard and accurate. Two and a two for Montgomery. Ten points to nil. South Africa lead. Worrying times for Wales. They are, because, Eddie, if you go right back to the real cause of that, it was a poor scrum by Wales. Got the ball turned over. Allowed Van Niekerk to, uh, to run with the ball, and they really must solidify this first phase, otherwise they're going to get mullered. Joe Van Niekerk... Get out, Tesla, get up. out! A ruck on the 22, Dupria to the left foot of Montgomery, yeah, and that's very smooth and very efficient, taking play back into the Welsh half. South Africa? Oh, no Welsh line out part two here. The first one appeared to be well, hold, utterly hold. bereft of communication. So let's see whether we get it right this time. Steve Jones. Stay. Double checks. David Jones is the target. David Jones does well. Stephen Jones. Gavin Henson on the loop. Gareth Thomas in from fullback. Ashwin Willem, sir, with the tackle. There we go. Stay green. Get out of there, Reed. Get out of there. Michael Owen sets up the ruck. Stephen Jones looks for space behind Willem, sir. Excellent kick by Stephen Jones. That really was a rocket, wasn't it? Fantastically well placed. Step back in the pocket. Poor sir, he badly missed Jones. He started to move forward to start with that one. Wales. And Wales initially moved that ball wide. They've got to. The South Africa defence really flies up, you see the centres. Wouldn't mind seeing them just digging the ball in behind him and giving him a little bit of doubt. Stay now, will we compete boys. here? Didn't bother at the, the first South Korean line out. They can't afford to do that here. John Smith takes his time <laughs> drawing the ball. Thank you. Paddy O'Brien wants a gap. Wales will want to compress it and just disrupt as much as they can. They do go up. Ryan Jones went up. Victor Matfield stay, Reed, tidies stay. up for South Africa, though, and Dupria clears. Will Luscombe take it quickly to Thomas? No. Got Smith up there quickly. That's a better effort from uh, Wales in terms of competition. Sorry, At least they managed to disrupt the tap, and if it hadn't been for, well, very good hands from Victor Matfield, it would have been a bobbling ball in a dangerous position. Okay, Stephen Jones of the Dragons, one line-out success to his name. Colin Chavez sorts out the bobbling ball, so Wales do win their own line-out after some hesitation. Now then, Luscombe into midfield. Good drive by Wales. Gareth Thomas plays scrum half, only feeds Dwayne Peel, the orthodox scrum half. Now then, Wales take on South Africa up front. Os Durant has stolen the ball. Turnover time, but Wales drive forward. South Africa should have control of it. Pinched back by Wales. Stephen Jones. Wales have an advantage. Peel to Duncan Jones. There is no advantage. South Africa offside. Wales with a chance to put points on the board. Well, good work there by the Welsh forwards, because all they were, although they were robbed by Os Durant, when it came back, to Brayton Pulser, they managed to rip it Brayton. off him and set that passage of play in motion, which was only defeated by, or was it cynical or not, a South African offside anyway. And a very kickable, very kickable penalty. Right. Os Durant, Thanks, guys. who gave up rugby, retired, went north, put on a bit of weight, 
was recalled and has taken a bit of it off, but he is the heaviest man on the field by, well, by some margin. 19 stone, 10 of him, Stephen Jones puts Wales on the scoreboard. Three points to ten. Mike Ruddock makes notes, and he will have noted his own sense of relief that Wales can win some ball, and they can make progress. Jaco van der Westhuizen plays for NEC in Japan. Shane Williams takes on Brayton Pulsa. Hands off, Stay. Advantage. Pulsa offside. So. Peel takes it quickly. Matfield, was he 10 metres? Colin Chavez. Hands off, stay back. Wales want to play an open, fluid game until Stephen Jones does that. Right down the middle. Van der Vestes under pressure. Gareth Thomas there. Ryan Jones also in support. Paddy O'Brien allows the Springboks time to play that. Ashwin Willemser tackled by Chavez and by Thomas too. Although. Highly experienced Welsh players, both now out of position. Good defence by Wales, and a good turnover too. Oh, hands in. Well, I thought Paddy O'Brien was very, very lenient on the first occasion after the high ball was fielded. The man's on the floor and he's tackling, he's supposed to release the ball immediately. And he's given them a lot of leeway. It's a simple reality in the Southern Hemisphere in the Super 12 that there isn't much challenge for the ball on the floor. But at test level anywhere, there's a right old scramble for it. Oh. Well, three, three. well, I can't see where the hand was particularly there. Wales! But I thought it was a one Thank before you. where it was even more lenient, so... Michael Owen, normally number eight, goes up against Matfield. Matfield wins on his own ball. Good tackle, Gavin Henson. Get out of that! And good turn of... Oh, he's done them again! Barry O'Brien having none of it on the floor. Could be Colin Chavis who's being singled out. OK, you can't lie in here. It's preventing him playing the ball back, OK? Then your player plays it. He's got a roll. Yeah. Tackle must yeah, roll away. Well, that's fine, uh, Mr O'Brien. Yeah, okay, You're right, he must roll, roll away. But also the man who's got the ball must release it straight away as well, so let's have them both, shall we? Here's the tackle, Gavin Henson. They thought they might have a there, charge he's got at a him. place and let go. He's still got hold of that ball. Jarvis isn't off his feet to start with. Oh, I think that's harsh, that's very harsh. And I'm glad to say, for the first time in a long time, thousands of Welsh people, I think, agree with me, certainly in the stadium. Yeah, it's that... Split second when you're on your feet, you can play the ball before the ruck forms, and that looked pretty legitimate from Colin Chavis. Instead, here's Percy Montgomery with his third kick at goal. Third success. <laughs> South Africa's lead grows 13 points to three. One of the difficulties for a forward, obviously, is when you're there and you're on your feet, you want to play the ball. Now, as soon as a ruck forms, you're not allowed to do that, even if the ruck. You know, even if you are on your feet, but what referees are usually doing is shouting rook formed, and then you know, uh, in the absence of that, you, obviously you can't see everyone who's around you, and you don't know, and that's not helpful for a forward. Matfield catches. Scott Berger drives. Montgomery, play on, says the referee. Trouble for South Africa, Jarvis goes down. Excellent pressure, Wales in the Springbok 22. Wales have an advantage. Got a penalty Second as well. Was a knock on. Only Second a knock one. on. Oh, he had his hand out there, I thought it was a penalty, but... Uh, he didn't give the first knock on by Percy Montgomery. Here we go, Percy. Well, his, his eyes are completely oh, off the up. ball there. And that Get is an odd thing to do, just whack oh. the ball into midfield. Yeah. Crucial that Wales get something out of this, it's a good scrum. Jones to Peel, Gavin Henson, good strength by the Ospreys. Back, Gareth Thomas has to go down. Support from David Jones, good drive by the Welsh forwards. 
appeal to Jones. Michael Owen, the offload to Henson. Now Wales have to scoop. Owen with a good pickup. Cobain, Sonny Parker, Shane Williams. No. Matfield. No. Is one of the first defenders over there. South Africa no, have got back in the defensive line. Wales, though, still have possession. Drop goal, Stephen Jones. Misses. Penalty, though, Green, to offside. Wales. South Africa offside. Offside. Unfortunately for Wales, a quick ball that they needed from the right-hand corner. It didn't quite come, and it gave the South Africans time to get back, including the whole back row were covering, and the ball came across. Shane Williams. You made the point, Brian, that, it's, that Wales must leave this situation with something. Well, it looks as though they'll, they'll get the penalty, and it is so important, isn't it, that once you've had that mistake, once you've worked yourself into a good position, just to see something on the scoreboard, Yes, you've got to. Basketball style out here, but in the end, the way the ball was lobbed, it meant that the South African back row were across there. Well, it's three. Three will do. 13 points to six, the Springboks lead. 17 minutes played. It does show that when Wales can put some pressure, some form of pressure, they are capable of putting points on the board, but it needs to be more consistently done. And the basis of all that is their first phase possession. Van der Westhuizen into the 22, Ryan Jones. Get out, Green, leave it, leave it! Charge Go back. Go by back. the 23-year-old number eight, Dwayne Peel thought he spotted a gap, it closed pretty quickly on the Stay little scarlet, one, come back, one come and this is where Wales are struggling come for quick win. ball, they want a fluid game, they want come quick out. ball, Shane Williams, who has played scrum half in his time, does so here, a kick to Van der Westhuizen, Dupria points him forward, come out, Williams two, two. will go back, Stay. Much ground gained by the Ospreys wing. Don't go blocking there again. No, I think he thought that was going to roll all the way. And then at the very last minute, it just bounced up. I thought at one point it might go over the dead ball line, but it put him in a very difficult position because his angles were completely closed down, especially as he's left footed. John Smith, the captain. Hold there. Just checks his call. Matfield comes Stay. forward. It goes over the top of his head. Scott Berger in midfield, Stephen Jones, the target. Yes, yes. Now they switch back, here's Smith. Cobain just about gets him down. Dupree, Montgomery, held by Shane Williams. Stay back. Stay back. And the rest is in the long cutout pass. Misses everybody. Luscombe closes in with Sonny Parker on Willemson. <laughs> Penalty to Wales. Sound defensive work. South Africa were in a good position. Now they want to go, yes. takes it quickly. Go is the cry. Berger is back under real pressure. He goes to ground. Good pressure from Wales. Turnover ball. There is still penalty to Wales. Well, that's good play by Wales. They need to do that. You could hear them screaming, go, go, go. And they were right. Now what do they do? It's wide out. It's a small target for Stephen Jones, so they go for the corner. I would go for the corner, yeah. He's going for goal. He just checked with his captain. And maybe when you're on a high that comes with a rush out of defence and a charge downfield, maybe you said the try is on, but yeah, perhaps it's the, the right decision. Now then, it is a narrow target, just 2.4 metres from... Well, from where I would he think stands. he'd bring that back though, won't he? he? must bring it. Oh, he's not bringing it. Well, he's brought it back a little bit. But this will be a very good kick. Uh, right across the face, Percy Montgomery. If he catches this, it'll hurt Wales, but he sliced it. So, Peel to Gavin Henson. Henson taken Leave down it. by Matfield. Matfield very busy. 
Peel, help from Chavez. Chavez, good handoff, good fend on to Peer. Sonny Parker, Bucky's Boto with a tackle. Four. David Get Jones. Outside, now then, Wales are making small amounts of ground, but it is ground going forward. It's probably the forwards. No. Boto put back in. Matt Stephen Jones, good skill by the outside half. Hands off. Held by Smith. Chavis to Peel, nobody outside him. Here they go! Stay back! Stay back! Stay back! <laughs> Michael Owen for Wales. Advantage three. After Ryan Jones, now then, Wales might be stretched here. Scott Berger. Jones got back with a tackle. Ryan Jones. Willemser. Montgomery. Chavis is fended off. Montgomery with men outside him. The Red Barry back to Montgomery. Number eight, Jovan Nickuk is in support, and South Africa are over for their second try. Well, he was always on, I'm afraid. As soon as the ball was turned over, when the Wolves were on the charge, Michael Owen spilled the ball, and from that point onwards, they were always in difficulty. Van Nierkirk, Paris superb back row. He finished it. Scott Berger had a fantastic roll and run to start with. Here we go, the charge. Oh, he's such a poor contact skills, and the ball goes left here. They know there's something on. Berger's away. Oh, and there's poor missed tackles there. Well, got rid as well here because he's patient. Waits, runs the good angles, draws a man, doesn't drift. Under the post and seven points. Percy Montgomery has added the two points. Twenty points to six. This has all the makings of a very high-scoring game for the moment, and ominously so. Twenty of them already in the bag for the Springboks. Stephen Jones goes long. Scott Berger tackled by Red. Cobain and David Jones. Jones D seemed to take a bit of a blow. South Africa worked their way again back into the Welsh 20 into the Welsh half. South Africa. No, 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 no. Take your team. Hold them all there. Jake White. The coach who's turned the fortunes of South Africa around. This time last year, they were in all Blood sorts fellas, of trouble. In Camp Barbed Wire before a very no, no. unhappy World Cup campa someone. campaign. Thank you. Jake White took over after they were dumped out. Well, they lost to England, then they lost in the quarter-final to New Zealand. There was a huge yeah, fallout back right home. Jake White came in with them. and immediately on your ball. made them... Tri Nations champions now. Yeah. David Jones is coming off. He took a blow Thank you. from the restart. Looks like a blood bin substitution. Martin Williams comes on. Just listen for the hands of Blues flanker. South Africa! Yep. South Africa win. A Welsh line out. Barry, little slip pass. Advantage. But the Forward. ball went forward there. A little bit perhaps Forward. too smart. A little bit blase, but then again, he probably feels supremely confident. Okay, wait, here we are in Cardiff. Right, What's it all mean to a New Zealander? Sean, Fitzpat Sean Fitzpatrick. Oh, hey, Eddie. Um, well, just, I, I think Wales have to keep on continuing to playing the style of rugby they're playing and, and not be frightened by what just happened with the, the turnover ball. Because when South Africa looks vulnerable is when Wales are actually putting pressure on them. So long may that continue. OK. An open, fluid game. Wales will want to play that. Oh, Hal Luskin clattered in midfield and crossing in midfield. So that open game isn't functioning that smoothly at the moment for Wales. No line-out ball, and straight from the set-piece, this happened. 
Well, he's saying he's taking a man out, and yes, he did, but not the tackler, so what, what difference does it make? I'm saying nothing about Paddy O'Brien. I just remember Fiji, France, in the World yeah. Cup. Didn't have his best then. Yeah, well, the point yeah, is, right. you know, Joubert was a potential tackler who but was ball, obstructed, there, but he wasn't the person who was going to hit Everything. the man with the ball. Oh, and the man with the ball did get hit, and therefore, if it was an obstruction, it was of little or no use at all. Percy Montgomery successful with every kick 10 points to his name sorry 13 points to his name see the ball coming out here here he comes Joubert oh that's a nonsense that's an absolute nonsense that one. actually the box might have been happy for it to go on anyway because the ball was spilt and they were in the 22 Change of tactic from the restart by Stephen Jones. Up goes Gavin Henson. Did he knock on? Great okay. regathering of the ball by Dupria. Percy Montgomery oh, juggled it again. Henson was up quickly on Montgomery. Turnover ball for Wales. Now then, they must get something. It was on on the blind side. Still might be for Dwayne Peel. Offloads. They just can't scrape it back, but they will have the put in. Oh, very unfortunate there, Dwayne Peel was just a little bubble of the ball when he wanted to go right quickly, quickly. But the ball just comes up and bubbles a little bit. And by that time, the defence is just there. Here, there, just goes up in the air. Needs to be able to run with that immediately, and then there was a possibility of going over. David Jones is back on instead of Martin Williams. I don't want to hang around too much at that scrum. Here we go, the Welsh three-quarter line. Henson, infield to Luscombe. Untidy breakout, but there was a ruck formed, so there was an offside line. And Marius Hubert yeah, was on the wrong side of it. You're loitering at the tackle, OK? No, we're just hanging around there. Just wait, please. Or was that just open play? Hanging about. I'm not counting, but roughly New offensive four to five hanging about. in this zone. OK, tell the boys in this zone, be positive, please. Yeah. You know my next step. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Well, uh, does that count as a warning, a general warning he's given? Who knows? Here's the breakdown in play. That's it, One. tackle. Oh, oh yeah, there are, there are, there's a ruck there, isn't there? Players bridging over it. Yeah, I think you're technically right there. Right, 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 I, I reiterate my point I made earlier, though. Oh, no, if the referee isn't no, shouting no, ruck formed, it just doesn't help anybody because no one knows. And that's a very difficult area for players and referees, to be fair. Stephen Jones <laughs> takes Wales up to nine points. Nine points for Jones, nine points for his country. But. There's still a 14-point deficit. Hal Luscombe comes in. Two minutes. There are players there. Mind you, the ball Just went the ball, out. Yeah, it's, it's very, very close. Very close. But I think it's right that the attacking team gets the benefit of the doubt in those situations, actually. 32 points in the opening half hour. Michael Owen takes it well. Brett Cobain went up as the dummy runner in front of him. Adam Jones sets up the ruck. Stephen Jones. Yeah, mate. Now then, that's good, solid work by Wales from a restart, which hasn't always been their speciality. Wales, Wales, here. Bring, bring your boys here. Bring your boys here. Bring them here. This is an area where South Africa have been rock solid so far, the line outs. And again, look at that. Matfield. The ball winner, Scott Berger in midfield, held by Gavin Henson. Hands Henson on! very prominent in defence. Chavez tries to disrupt. Oz Durant tackled by Sonny Parker and he's lost it. Turnover ball for Wales. Be interesting to see how many times they've, they've won turnover ball. Go. Dwayne Peel still looking for that little dart off, close to Ruck and Maul. Stay there, stay green, go back. Chavez plays scrum half. Jones, the little dink from Stephen Jones. Brent Cobain, the second row, is the only one there. Pulsa under real pressure now. Oh, Cobain went down on the man. 
who'd gone to ground himself. Fair well, he's enough. right, you're not allowed to dive on a man until he's got back to his feet. I suppose the problem always comes when a man just refuses to get up. Uh, but here, Paulson he goes down. Yeah. He's got to leave him a little bit longer. So tempting, though, Can't for a player. I want to give him a good idea, and uh, you know he's under pressure. Okay, there it is there. Still, encouraging signs for Wales are that they can steal ball in loose play. They can't do much so far Dylan about Morgan. their South African line out. Wait till they get there. Okay. John Smith, Matt Field. Keep it up, Red, keep it up. It's a bit of an old combination. Seemed to be a bit of a it's gap fine. there between the ball carrier and the. Still on the ball. The tractor into which yeah, he he's drove. Okay. He's fine, let it go. Dupree with the little chip ahead. Shane Williams has it covered, makes Will the mark. Up. Leave him. Advantage. Matfield, offside. Jarvis, tackled by yeah, Smith. Dwayne Field, good offload. Leave it. There's the mobility of hooker Steve Jones. South Africa give Come away on, the penalty. No Too many no hands more. on the floor. Scott Berger. Now, fine advantage. We're on to Wales there, taking the advantage. They've got to, they've got yeah, to try and chance the hand with these. The points behind the first phase ball isn't secure. Good adventurous play here. And actually, uh, he's played on the floor quite cynically, I think, here. And uh, the referee said no more, but what that means, I don't know. Does it mean the next one will be a yellow card? Or, oh, it's cool. It's a second no more well, until for, he says no more again. He's going for goal, yeah. Gavin Henson. Well, I tell you what, this isn't really a surprise. He has a prodigious boot on him. He'll have to have, yes. What's that, six? 58? Ooh, 58 and a half. I think some neat bit of design work will now tell us. Here we go. To the nearest centimetre, 57.3. Well, we overestimated it, but only just. It will still be a hell of a shot. Gavin Henson of the Ospreys hasn't got the legs. Victor Matfield takes takes it up to the 22 now this is the speed of the second row back row support from Smith knock on by Van der Vestesen who in his frustration sorry it was uh, Marius Hubert who dropped it who just turned on the boss player in his face but that again that's good pressure here's Hubert's mistake now now hold Red hold Another Go. reasonable platform for Wales. It needs to be solid. Again, come away with some sort of score. Okay, you two, just for a minute. I need you square. Don't go in, you keep them out. Crouch and hold. Eddie Go. Andrews and Duncan Jones. Stay here. That's square enough for Wales. Stephen Jones. Henson. Gareth Thomas from fullback. Spins out of the tackle. Michael Owen. Get off, tackler! This time he hangs on to the ball and sets it up for Peel. Peel this time does make a little dart. Colin Jarvis on his shoulder. Hands off! Peel digs it out. It came off a South African behind the Welsh, but Shane Williams regathers Luscom in trouble. And then here's the pace of Van Niekerk against Stephen Jones. Van Niekerk, they'll want to get him into touch. They do so. Well, good defence in the end, in extremis. But unfortunately for Wales, and the ball is coming back on the... It's not just that, that prior to that, there are a series of passes which were effectively stopping song. passes behind people. As a consequence, all the flow was Hold it. disrupted, and actually he did well to pull Brett Porter well, down guys. there. Because he, he would have been free, wouldn't he? It wasn't a golden moment for Hal Luscombe. And uh, Stephen Jones won. Won't want too many foot races against them, um, Joe Van Nickerk either. Bit better at the tackle now. Brief pause. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It is Hal yeah. Luscombe who's injured. There's Marius Hubert. The two tries so far. Jakob van der Westhuizen with the first. Here's the turnover ball for the second. Michael Owen takes it in, loses it, and. Uh, this is the finish for Montgomery, break, looping Devet Barry, 
and the finish by Joe van Nikkerk. 23 points to nine. Michael Owen, one hand. Brent Cobain, one hand. Come back. Stephen Jones, Come the hooker. Now. Makes it possible for Peel to clear. Tulsa. That's fine, just push only, though. Well, they cleared it eventually after a short lineup. It was bobbled, wasn't it? It was all over the place. Okay, Wales, please. It's not the sort of clear cut, concise <laughs> possession which they need. There's a stark no. contrast no, when you come no. to the South Africans who've been put on the ground. Put on the ground. very efficient put in this area. The There's a strange order Wales, from Paddy O'Brien. Line up on him. Next time the free kick. Yeah. Let's and go. Those possession statistics are quite strange. It does show the South Africans have been much more efficient in what they've gotten used. Matfield again. Wonderful first half by Victor Matfield. Not bad from Joe van Nicker, but he's lost the ball. South Africans have spilt lots of ball. Much. Wales have stolen lots of ball. And here they come. Brian Jones lost it forward. So lost it forward. They, Wales Run do green. so many good things, but then have not much continuity in their play after that. Yes, in fact, uh, if I were... South Africa will be very upset about the amount of turnovers that they've conceded. Crouch and hold only. Wales, unfortunately for them, have not been able to make that much out of them. Gage. No. South Africa lying quite flat. Stay up this way. Hold. On the near side of this scrum. Gage. There they are. Duet Barry outside. Jaco van der Westhuizen. Percy Montgomery is at fullback is also flat okay, in the line. Stay up, stay up, both front rows. Square, steady. Crouch and hold. Game. Thank you. Stay on. The drive by Van Nickerk takes on Gavin Henson. Hands off, Red. They're still flat outside Van der Vestesen. There goes the kick. Territory first. You know, something, I'm not convinced that Van Nierke yeah, isn't team, doing please. that lateral run on purpose, you know, because they would normally attack the fly-off there. He's taking the 10 yeah, and the 12 straight out, and if he's confident enough, yeah, sorry, yeah, his sorry. back row will yeah, get with him, fault. and he'll get the ball back. Not only is he taking one yeah, out, he's taking two, two and drawing the third one into an impossible position. I'd be, I'd be interested to know whether he's doing that on purpose. Hands off, Brian, yeah, well, he, he's certainly quick enough, Joe Van Nicker. Now, this is ridiculous now. I mean, every forward, time a ruck is formed, the ball has been played on the floor. And uh, Thank you. Paddy O'Brien, the referee, keeps on saying no well, more and keeps on penalising without showing the card. Which is why I was saying, what does that mean? Because you know from the past, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean what it says. Not much to go in the first gone. half. Wales will want to launch one more attack. Yeah. The moment you feel content. Do you think, though, Brian, every time Wales throw in, you sort of, your heart's in your mouth a bit, and every Absolutely. time they throw a Matfield, it's dead safe. There it goes again, it's a bobble, but Colin Chavez straight to Stephen Jones. Good turn out of the tackle by Jones, Stephen. Michael Owen. Get out, come out, Green. Adam Jones bridges him. David Jones. One of the six Joneses. Got them all. John Smith came in. Good strength, though by Sonny Parker in the centre. Henson rides the tackle. Hold it, come in. Referee has blown for another infringement go on, go on. and he's going to penalise somebody on the Welsh team, is he? Too many times at the tackle. No, Scott Berger at last. There we are. Right. I wouldn't have too many. Scott Berger. Player of the Year in South Africa, Roll away. not so popular here. Playing the ball on the floor once too often, he's off for ten minutes. Well, it is his third one. So interesting, almost on the stroke of half-time. Here we go. That's a, that's a, that's a rook there, two men over him. He can't play that, even if he's on his feet, he's not on not, his feet. No. Yeah, no. No, this is it. Just thinking, Thanks. Brian, as well, you know, you're going at half-time, 12-23 down. At one stage, it was looking 
as it was going to be a lot worse than that for Wales. Well, South Africa scored three points in the last 20 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. This is a very important kick. And very well slotted by Stephen Jones. Over the ball goes. The whistle goes for half time. At the Millennium Stadium, it's Wales against the Springboks. It's 12 to Wales, 23 to South Africa. At the end. Well, Sean, South Africa will start the second half with just 14 men, and if there was one man in that South Africa side that you'd like to see off the field if you were a Welshman, it would be the ubiquitous Scout Burger, I suppose. Oh, definitely. He's a workaholic, isn't he? Especially on the sideline here, you see how much work he does do. I'm sure Jake White would be a bit disappointed, obviously, about that. But I think on the overall performance, he'd be disappointed at the amount of turnovers um, when they've had total control of the line-out and scrum. What does it say about Wales and their confidence, the fact that when they did have a penalty and could have taken a bit of territory, they opted to take a kick from 80, 50, 60, 70, 80 yards out or whatever it was? They've actually got to believe they can win, that they can take the game to South Africa, especially in the second half, and put points on the board, try and score a try, because we've seen in the first half, when they put South Africa under pressure and South Africa can't play their controlled game, they, they, there's, there's holes there that, that Wales can cannot create opportunities under. Well, Mike Ruddick be satisfied with that half-time scoreline? Well, I think so. It was looking for a while there. It could get a bit carried away, but they came back well and put them under pressure. And Skultberg is a classic example that they're putting a lot of pressure on at the breakdown. They're certainly not invincible, South Africa. No, well, they've shown that. I think, uh, I think as I said, Jake White would be disappointed that their form from the Tri-Nations hasn't continued. The breakdown is, a, is an issue, as we've heard. The yeah. Southern Hemisphere at the breakdown's not great. Thanks very much, Sean. In the opening five minutes caught rather cold. Problems up front, wasn't it? Yeah, there he is. You know, he knows what he's doing. Van Nieker runs straight to Stephen Jones, commits him, you know, to the Rex uh, ruck. Quick ball. The West defence hasn't reorganised. Jube came straight down the hole that Stephen Jones should have been, or someone should have filled for them. And once they're behind, he should really have, have scored. I first great tackle by Haluska, but again, Burgers there. Look, and they recycle. They don't organise on the left hand side. And Jaco van der Vesse is in scores. Well, that was just the start that the Welsh didn't need. It was the start to the Grand Slam challenge that South Africa had dreamt of, really. And the second try wasn't too far behind. 15 minutes later, Wales impossibly stretched. Well, this is South Africa at the razor, the razor sharp uh, best. And this man, Berger, has been all over the place. He's, I mean, he's off having a little 10 minute break at the moment. But I don't think Wales could be too happy with the missed tackles, because they got numbers there, but the, the South Africans showing their strength are just shrugging off, and then it's just a question of committing defenders and making the pass. Good switch there, that made the try, and away he goes. And this guy is one hell of an athlete. Mm. For a number eight, he's awesome. Yeah, you know, this is the spill look. And they had plenty of numbers in defence, they just fell off tackles. And I think Clive Griffiths won't be happy with the way they've um, you know, committed themselves to the tackle because they've just fallen off a couple. And once they've got behind the worst defence, the support play has been uh, superb. Oh. John Smith knows his side are down to 14. But they do have an 11-point lead. Just waiting for Paddy O'Brien. There he goes, second half underway. Ryan Jones waits. And runs. Victor Matfield makes the tackle. Hands off, leave it! Wales have to be careful here, that... Well, it's, that's a mess for Wales. No, play the knock on. Green scrum. Very, very untidy there. And John Smith looking round saying, what on earth is going on? Because watch here. This hand is a bit blatant. Oh, there we go. To be fair to the referee, he couldn't see that. Yeah. Van Niekirk. Oh, there was a man breaking Corsa. Free outside Dupriya. Wales off green, will have no the scrum. So, scrappy start to the second half. Mistakes by both teams. Just for a second, decides not to make the pass, but there was a man out there. Also was free just for a second. Game. 
drive comes on well turned towards that touchline he can't be bound Beal. there you know Nierkirk and Smith there are not bound they've got to stay bound onto their own scrum they're simply detached Dwayne Peel did well there to get the ball away under such pressure wheeling scrum people perhaps coming off a little bit early South African throw though the green cap of Matfield might rise up he goes this time it hasn't worked Colin Chavez takes on Jakob van der Estesen. Stephen Jones Gavin Henson on the loop Gareth Thomas Luscombe Dwight Barry misses him tries to offload Percy Montgomery is back Sonny Parker follows up with a tackle Dupree with the clearance Henson goes back for Wales good clearance by the Springbok scrum half oh, not good that's magnificent he's made nearly 50 yards over his shoulder there good work by Montgomery getting down up and down again looks for a second you've got to hang on to this Can unless he's completely on got to hang on he gets up and then he goes down again to protect the ball and that 50 yards Welsh line out at the start of this second half David Jones goes up takes well Michael Owen drives in on the scarlet come out, Green, dragon come out. on a scarlet but now they need the ball quickly Stephen Jones at Gareth Thomas had overrun him Ashwin Willemse tackled by Jones and Jones Stephen and Stephen good pick up Peel play on open play Adam Jones goes down he can get up chance now for Wales Gareth Thomas Peel Michael Owen is lateral a bit two second rows Henson Gavin Henson steps inside van der Vesses and tries to brush Van Niekerk aside not that easy Thomas feeds Peel there might be numbers outside Peel good break for the scrum half chips Montgomery still great Peel great solo effort by Peel Wales pour in Colin Jarvis is there Duncan Jones on his shoulder Van Niekerk with a all-consuming tackle there, it's turnover ball, but South Africa offside. And if that wasn't a professional well, foul, yes, worthy, exactly of a, what I was gonna say. worthy of a yellow card. That's exactly what I was going to say, they were in there. Lovely bit by Peel. And he did well here, there isn't much support. Here is where they need it quick, it comes reasonably quickly. Jarvis driving, there's a rook form there, definitely. Oh, well, he's, still, well, he's made no attempt to it, he's miles offside. If that is he's a good, he's a good two yards, 15 15, and I think that he's lucky. <laughs> he's lucky to still be on the field. Well, if the game is going to get looser, this could suit Wales. Here's the break by Dwayne Peel. He's been looking for this little dart all afternoon. Great skill to take his own kick. Ashwin Willemse with the with the tackle, the offload. Now Van Niekerk is a yard offside well, and just tackles offside him. At least made no attempt to get behind the back foot, and he ruined what would have been a well, was it poor probable? We, that would have been a penalty try, but he knew what he was doing. Ryan Jones. Now then, Wales. A there little go, spring in the step. Stephen Jones gives it the full crack. Good clearance. Now then, Wales looking full of it at the start of this second half. If South Africa have decided to let the discipline go in keeping the ball tight, it could suit Wales. Well, given that I don't know how they work this out, there's an average between six and seven points when you're down to 14 men. That's three of them. That's still very solid, though, isn't it? it Bucky's Boerter takes over at the line out from Matfield. Keep it's a good drive. So South Keep Africa having back. yielded the three points and let the, lane, the game going, go loose, go. may have said, let's tighten it up. Dupree, one for Willemse to chase. Luscombe is under it. Good mark by Hal Luscombe. Well taken. 
Now then, Luscombe. It's Matfield who made the tackle. The follow-up tackle was by Van Nieke, but it was Matfield again who was so involved from the second row position. Stephen Jones. Come out of there, come Good out of there. ground made by Jones. Yeah. And Jekyll van der Veste is on the siding. He's not going to play anything quickly, and he's right to run the clock down. He knows they've got the throw. They'll be virtually untouchable on their own line out. Wind the clock down till Saltberger comes back on. Matfield, a yard outside the line out. If he steps in, he must be the target. Back to his winning ways, Victor Matfield. Still, though, David Jones comes away with it, takes on Montgomery. David Jones has left Percy Montgomery on the ground. Must be a try for Wales. Gavin Henson! Henson for the try line! Oh. Wales right back in this game, the Springboks down to 14 and hurting. Well, Springbok line-out working as efficiently as ever, but he gets another turnover in, the, in direct contrast to all the other ones. Wales have made them pay very fully for this. Good strength here. Just rips the ball away. David Jones, and then watch this for a bump here. Percy Montgomery, down you go. And they need a quick ball from this, and they got it. And Stephen still Jones, still that's the two points. Points. two points. Wales now trailing by a single point. Scott Berger will be back on for South Africa, but how to make the over the one man over hurt? That is a good line, you look from there. He's been impressive to me all the way through, Parker, but he comes dead straight, which means anyone who's coming across, all he has to do is stay. Comes back inside and they're directly wrong-footed. Henson, over he goes. Good work by Henson, good, good angles. And the Welsh crowd now, they're getting behind them. Let's see. Jakob van der Westhuizen starts. Dwayne Peel with the regather, but he was over the touchline. So that is another little error in Wales' favour. Oh, they're looking, they are allowed the option of uh, a quick line out, Captain. but he's not going to give them. Comes as a surprise to some people. Caught the ball, Dwayne Peel, but because his foot is out, that counts as out. His silver boots. Okay, we'll keep working hard. Dancing boots. There you go, he's been over. And Will's really got a man up. You need to make him play again. Scott Berger is warming up in the tunnel on the far side of the field. Wales will, there he is, Scott Berger. Wales can just have one more playing with the flanker absent. Good scrimmage. Stephen Jones, oh, trouble here. Carl Luscombe has got to get back. Oh, it's worked in Wales' favour because it's slewed off the foot of the vet Barry. Well, what I don't understand from there, Eddie, is if you are going uh, to kick the ball anyway, why not give yourself another two or three metres to make three. sure that can't happen? You know that South Africa really fly up in defence and perhaps we're lucky for Wales to get away with one. Scott Berger is back, roundly booed back onto the field, but it means South Africa now have their full contingent. He returns to see the scoreboard. If you're in doubt, don't go for it. I'm not going to stop you competing, but if you're in doubt, remember it's you that's the problem. Thank you. Well, it's also up to the referee to take doubt out of the minds of the players. Wait. Steve Jones. They've lost it. Scott Berger straight back into the thick of the action. Advantage over! Matfield, one of the stars on the Springbok side. Jakob van der Westhuizen. Shane Williams. Knock it on. This won't count. They'll come back for the scrummage in the Welsh 22. 
important for Wales now not to concede a score straight back. They can just hang on here, hold clear on, the ball, on. give themselves a little breathing space. Gage. Just look at the South African three-quarter line, it's very Perfect shallow game. again. Britain pulls up. The vet Barry. Leave it! Johan Smith. Hands off, Red! Van der Vestes and Montgomery cuts back inside, tackled by his opposite Get number, Gareth out. Thomas. Stay, Red, stay! Stay! Dupree. Scott Berger took it standing still, Leave tackled by Fred Cobain. Stay there. Van der Vestes and cuts inside. Michael Owen, who makes the tackle. Dwayne Field makes the tackle. That went forward. forward. Wales survived the pressure. Well, they tackled well then, defended bravely. But now the forwards have to do another job. For Jones front row. Keep working hard for me, it's good. Spill forward out the tackle. Bad contact skills. Good tackle by Dwayne Field. Scotty, I stuck my clock up, hell on, hell on gone. Oh, oh, my clock stopped. I'm going to have full time for you, so... You're going to let it run. Stopping, I'll stop okay. injuries. Try so being replayed here. Again. Superb okay. work by David Jones. Watch the angle here. Dead straight, that means covering players can't stop him when he steps back inside. You have to hold only. No. It's still a well scrum that'll come under big pressure here. Ryan Jones needs to add his weight because there it comes, the drive is on. South Africa. This is a problem here. You're the man in the slot, the number eight there was not really pushing, and Johnny Charles is trying to help as well. Effectively got still Ryan Jones is not really adding much to that scrummage at all. It's it's slewing back. You can't do that. Trouble for Wales. He's got to get in there. Up here. The Five. only reason you would go in the slot there with a the number eight in the, the Ben Hur chariot position is if you're going to whack the ball down channel one and get it away quickly. As soon as that doesn't happen, you're in trouble. You can't contribute. Try to pick up off one hand there. Hand in the scrum as well. But bearing in mind as well, the hooker at some point has got to lift his foot to strike, so you've effectively got half a man in terms of weight. Eight against yeah. six then. South Africa. Trying to reset the drive. Wales have spun it round. Wales put in. One team. all in this little scrummage contest. Good work by the Jones front row there. When in doubt, Brian, say Jones. Yes. <laughs> now then, what will he do this time? Just keep an eye on Ryan Jones. He's still out of the scrum. You, the other thing is that you've got, at least got to hit there. You've got to hit there and then move. It's such a struggle for the front five. They've got away with it. Oh, too much pressure from Fury Dupree. If I was in the Wales front five, I would be absolutely livid at the moment. Because it's a hard job. The thing is, when you, you've got to at least hit down as a number eight, because the second rows have to be bound together as well. Then you can move, maybe. But I'm not in favour of getting into that position when you're on your line. Well, it's, it looks. If, if you do it twice, it's obviously a rehearsed move. But I, just, I think, I think with you, if you're, if you're well, a front five, you're time, screaming for weight. Again, Look, please, it didn't work either time. They got away with it here, but uh, the scrum has been ruined. Replacement to be made. There's Ryan Jones. He's done well. He's had a few good runs. Ashwin Willemse is going off, Brent Russell is coming on, could take Brent Cobain, brother of Matt Cobain of the Wallabies, now then, Hal Luscombe. Russell on for the first time, I think. Luscombe knocked that on, Percy Montgomery, good kick downfield by Montgomery. Paddy O'Brien screams advantage over. That is a good about a superb play. Percy Montgomery, no, virtually no room to work with, and yet he's managed to control a ball that's gone 30, 40 metres and then skewed into touch. Still a pressure throw for Steve Jones. 
three-man lineup. David Jones at the tail. Brent Cobain in the middle. Adam Jones. Michael Owen comes in. He'll have to be the. Yeah, he'll have to take it if he steps in. Steve Jones. Here we go. Well, it's worked for Wales. They've done well enough there. Very clever. There's the boot of Gavin Henson. He can kick it a mile. Brent Russell. New on. New fresh legs. Come out, Green. Come out. Come out. Henson again. Stay the try scorer here. for Wales. Look inside. Saw Gareth Thomas a long way away. Henson chases his own kick against Montgomery. Has to wait for him to land. Gareth Thomas adds his weight. That's gone forward. Wales could have a turnover. Play on. Sonny Parker, good pressure on Van Niekerk. Devet Barry. Inside his own 22. They'll go all the way back because the ball went out and stayed out. It'll be a Welsh attacking line out. Well, it discharges it when Wales put uh, Southampton under pressure. But they are fallible. Albeit that they're Tri Nations champions, they are proving fallible when they're under pressure. It's the arrival of Gareth Thomas. He's such an impressive figure on the field. Real presence, the Welsh captain. He may have left to play, play for on. Toulouse in France, but he's. he's play on! He's still play on such a character in the Welsh on. game. Hal Luscombe is having attention. Gareth Thomas. Michael Owen has lost it, not straight. I'll tell you that's twice now. I don't know what I don't know what the South Africans are thinking. But I can only presume they're not really sure of the law because the man who's standing out there, if he joins the line out, he has got to be the receiver. So they don't need to mark anyone else, it matter where anyone else runs to the line out, they've got to stand opposite that man. And that's twice if missed it. Pressure on the South African scrum. Dupria gets the kick away, and Gareth Thomas watches it go over the line. At least Wales will have the throw in. South Africa protecting a one point lead, but they have not had it all yeah, their own way. Well. In fact, they haven't scored a point in this Stay second there. half. Stay green there. The safety ball to Michael Owen. Hands off green! Once again, they Stay. have to sort out the little bobble, which they do. Stephen Jones put South Africa up towards halfway. Well, for me, the pick of the Welsh back, Stephen Jones, that there and Gavin Henson are both having fine games. Me. Would that they'd had more ball from the Welsh point of view. <laughs> Scrappy ball for South Africa. Found the best days and good offload, brilliant offload to the vet Barry. Barry's on his own for the moment. Does he need any support? Gareth Thomas goes in for the tackle. Ball went loose. Thomas did superbly well there. Gareth Thomas still well, in possession. Outside. It'll be a five-meter well, scrummage. I don't think he should have blown up so quickly there. The difficulty there. Gareth Thomas was waiting and waiting, and then he eventually had to come back in. Now he's ripped the ball out there. I'm not sure even uh, South can play that old that. Number one ring. Still danger for Wales. Three, Five three, metre scrummage. Superb defensive work by Gareth Thomas. Gethin Jenkins comes on for Duncan Jones. Wales down to five Joneses. Gethin Jenkins comes on. And South Africa ring a change in the front row. Two. No, 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 first, first. The other two are just working each other. CJ out. Van der Linde right, comes on into the front row. Eddie Andrews goes Fred off. And hold. Gage. Dupria feeds the scrum. Now with two new props in there. Joubert infield to Brent Russell. Russell over the line and scored. Got the ball down. The first points for South Africa of the second half. Good set piece move. Brent Russell over. And the lead grows. Play bed next man, flick back inside. And well, there are enough players there. He's still got five meters to go. 
Can't see from here the grounding referee in a much better position. And had no doubt about giving it. Well, it's quite a simple inside ball. Really should have been covered, I feel. And Montgomery adds the conversion. Well, you, you think there'd be a system there straight from set piece. Good strong running by Brent Russell, but there were defenders in front of him. Here's the pass, Hubert, little flick back. It's not a full tilt just there either, has to set up. Comes inside. Well, eight and six. On the line is over, and it's... Yes, it's there. Jake White is perfectly happy with that. Dupier. Down towards halfway, Wales need to strike back quickly. Changes for Wales. Luke Charteris, six foot nine, comes on for his first cap. David uh, Jones on, seven, had luck. has Just gone off. Forward. So Michael Owen will presumably go back. Line out and finished on here, guys. Red into ball. the back row. Luke Charteris of the Dragons. Oh, no. There he is. Hold on, hold on. Packing alongside Brent Cobain. Michael Owen does indeed go to number eight. Gage. Ryan Jones onto the flank. Bad scrum for Wales. Turned by South Africa, and away comes Van Niekerk. The rush defence. Hubert has Montgomery inside him. Russell inside. Henson bounces off. Leave it red! Van der Westhuizen. The crunch in midfield as Van Niekerk drives it up. Van der Westes and the cutout pass. Slow ball for South Africa. South Africa penalised, hanging on. Relief for Wales. But they won't want too many scrimmages like that last one. Held him. They can't afford to have too many scrimmages. John Smith there. Smith penalised for hanging on. Took the ball in and he was isolated. I don't blame him actually. I think the sporting players were too slow. Bit there. At that point, mind you, he can't afford anything to man on top of him, but... Uh, hold, hold him. Well, on that occasion, the referee... Yeah, hold him. ...insisting that he lets go of the ball, which he didn't. Looks as if we're going to have more replacements. Go and get him, Tom go and get him. Shanklin is coming on. Hal Luscombe is going off. There's Tom Shanklin. Tell the hooker to wait still, mate. Hal Luscombe. Is going no, 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 no. South Africa have stolen ball. Please, please, please. Again, uh, wait for this. <laughs> Steve Jones simply took it too soon. Well, he said, if he, if he jumps, like, I'm going to throw it to okay. him. Which is a fair point if you're a hooker. <laughs> Bad line out for Wales. The wet Barry out to Marius Hubert. Advantage, Good tackle, Sonny Parker. Tom Shanklin involved, goes down, secures ball for Dwayne Peel. Stephen Jones. Jones with the break. Shane Williams on his shoulder. Can't get the ball away. Gethin Jenkins and Ryan Jones. Steve Jones. Good tackle by the hooker. Now then, Shane Williams is back. Almost a dangerous breakout. Shane Williams in broken play. There's the big step off the left. And there's the crunching South African tackle to strip him of the ball. Russell, trouble here. Van der Vestesen. Henson makes the tackle. Offload to Percy Montgomery. Montgomery's over. That could be the try that seals the game and sets Jake White's Springboks off to a winning start on their tour. Well, it was a superb floated pass there. Long cutout pass. Not only missed out a couple of the old South African men, but also 
outflanked all the Wolves defensive from that point. Very try. Well, he's run away, it's a tackle from behind here, watch, really, that gets him. Just is about to offload. Back his butter. Back his butter. And there's a slight imbalance in physique there. Colt Berger moves the ball wide. And later on with some very, very perceptive handling. Good try, Alec. And we've seen, actually, Eddie throughout the whole of the afternoon, when the South Africa do get in scoring positions, they tend not to panic. You know, they can wait and they can run the lines. Montgomery misses there, but that's put them out of sight, really. Yeah, 20 points for Percy Montgomery, a try to add to his kicks. That's the ball there, lovely floated pass from Brent Russell. There's a bad man off. And here, they know where the, they know where the line is. Thank you. They know the angles to run. What number's off? And a you. turnover from initially some good work as Coswell's dear. Wales have to restart again. Furi Dupria, he's had a busy day kicking the ball, but he's kicked very well. He's controlled the game well. When South Africa aren't looking to run the ball, Dupria has kept them going forward. Inside pass, Henson to Shane Williams. Trouble for David Jones. Let it go! Colin Chavis, Gareth Thomas. Got them all! Let it go! Stay green! Williams, held by Matfield. Good pass, though, to Dwayne Field, to Adam Jones. Let it go! Might have been turned. Yeah, held, held on. Honestly, honestly. Both Brent Russell and Jean de Villiers are on for South Africa as replacements. There's Percy Montgomery wearing 15. Slight readjustment of the three quarters in front of him. Hugh, Brent can I Russell. Next break, please. Hugh. Wearing 22. Clayton. Clayton, can I have some water next break, please? There's a pot at goal, 47, and he's uh, he's well in, capable in of next, this. Next time, at the kickoff, if he gets it, if he gets it. This gives South Africa a 16-point cushion. 14, 13 minutes left, probably. Percy Montgomery. My water, Paul. He's missed again. He's missed with his last again, two. Well, he won't be happy with that, but it keeps the ball down where the South Africans will want it, which is deep in Welsh territory. Play on! Brian Jones takes it quickly. Bucky's Butter with the tackle. And no South problem, Africa no hit the run it it green. really hard roll. to disrupt the flow of possession for Wales. Got to roll, you can't just hold your feet in there. Leave him. Well, he disrupted it Play legally on. once or twice. For the third time now, Gavin Henson. Oh, that's a big tackle from Devet Barry. Henson did well to deliver. Gethin Jenkins, the prop to Tom Shanklin, the replacement on the wing. Here we go, leave it. You bear drags Shanklin out the way. Bit of forward ball. Bravado, forward ball, forward says ball. Ooh, referee. If it was, it was only just. In fact, yeah, I think there were a couple of four that were passes that were more forward. Really living, boys, in the please. last Welsh back movement. Uh, here we go. Just seen them on and time to go off. Oh ball. yes, it's the angle of their hands you can tell from there, isn't it? Hey, you got Wales, Kelly, Sweeney, Shane Williams. Just small things like that are necessary. Shane Williams is off, and Kerry Sweeney comes on. So Kerry Sweeney, normally yeah, an outside half, goes Coming. into the centre. Gavin Henson Gavin goes to fullback, and Gareth Thomas takes Eric? up one of the many Eric? positions he's occupied for Wales. He goes onto the wing. There's Big Oz Durant, and here's the Welsh captain now playing on the wing. Yeah. Was there an injury there? I didn't see, or was this a tactical thing? Okay, hold, crouch and hold only. 
I can't see it's wise to have three positional changes, that's all. Especially when Henson's been one of the world's best players. He's now at full-back, yeah. so he's out of the running in terms of direct influencing attacking play. Your captain is moving to a different position, and you've got a fly-off who's not playing where he normally plays. Now, if you can, well, I've only, I only only play the front row, so I, I wouldn't know, but... You know. I don't know, maybe... Oh, penalty against Wales at the scrimmage. Right in front of me. Shane Williams may have had a bump. OK, fair enough. Pose. Yeah, so. Percy Montgomery, he's missed with his last two. He's lining up another one. 20 points to his name. Shows you can have a game of rugby when we get quick ball there, doesn't it? 42 metres, more or less. Yeah, that's better from Percy. 23 points now for Percy Montgomery, and the South African ship has really and truly steadied. While they were down to 14, Wales came right back into the, to this game. South Africa hadn't scored in the second half, and then with the re-emergence of Scott Berger from the sin bin, the Springboks have resumed control. Play on! Possession, Play on! Colin Chavez goes down. South Africa, though, have the ball yet again. Michael Owen. Stay, get out of it, three, get out! Ryan Jones, Bucky's Burta, he's had a good second roll half. Roll four, roll out, roll out! The partner to Victor yeah, Matfield, who's you. had a good all-round game, whatever the half. This time, change of tactic, Kerry Sweeney! Little ploy, two outside halves working well together. There's Luke Chatteris, the tall one. Brent Russell has to be careful not to be offside, Michael Owen. Leave it green, leave it! Ryan Jones steps inside, Brayton Paulson. Not hell play. It's better by Wales, good build-up. Michael Owen again. Play on, play on. Gareth Thomas, it's all gone. It's an advantage to Wales, South Africa not offside, but knocking the ball on. Well, I can't understand why Wales have chipped a little bit more. You know, a couple of times if they've, they've profited from that, and it's... At least one of the ways where you can stop this rush defence, because at least they're in two minds, that they're all up there, lots of room behind, Hello. and gathers fairly comfortably. One of the things that's happening as well, Eddie, in this game is that the Welsh players, a lot of forwards, when they've won the ball, they're not in good set positions over the ball. And what the South Africans are doing is they realise this, and they're hitting the rooks as hard as they can. And that's making sure that when Peel tries to get the ball, he's having forwards rocketing him back over the top of him. And it's slowing ground, things down, so it's it's Welsh forwards must get a yeah, much be more be solid base it's when they've, when they've solid won the, the ball. Right. Yeah, when the, the likes of Bucky's Butter has guys. been hitting rucks and you think it's... it's not, it's, You can't do much when you just hit a ruck, but when the whole thing shudders and a body collapses and makes the exit of the no, no, ball no, no, that much no, more no, difficult... No, no, no. It has an effect on the game. Again, that well scrimmage is not comfortable there. They've got away with it. A free kick. Dwayne no, Peel takes it quickly. Pitch. That'll be 10 metres on. 10 metres, back you go. Where you go. Where you go. This will still be a free kick, won't it, I think? Yeah. Still uh, a free kick. Move called. It's that old faithful, number one. Stay. Now let's see if sometimes these go horribly wrong. Gethin Jenkins. Michael Owen, held but gets the ball away to Steve Jones, who Advantage ducks his head, three. this time it's a turnover to South Africa, and now with tired legs it may hurt, oh, Victor Matfield, well I reckon that's his first mistake of the game. I think that is his first mistake, he's yeah, Oh no, he lost one line out. Red seven. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but otherwise he's been a tower, hasn't he? Hasn't he had a good game? 
Very, very good given. Colin. He's, 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 he's guaranteed Colin. a supply of quality ball throughout the whole given. You know, a lot of the South African effort has been based around that. Martin Williams comes on for Colin Chavez. And Mevin Davis is going to come up into the front row. Looks if Steve Jones is going off. Now then, Dwayne Peel has to be careful because nobody out there. It's Wales is still prepared to hit that blind side. It's working for them. Good progress. Peel can now hit the open. Fresh legs. Hooker. Nevin Davis. Not hell. Oh, he was hell. Ah. Can't go forward on the knees. Corey Dupree as he held after the kick. Martin Williams, infield, Kerry Sweeney. Henson does well, read the situation really well. There's the strength of Gavin Henson. Advantage. Deliberate knock-on, was it? Still no. advantage being played Wales. Kerry Sweeney, infield to Dwayne Peel. Martin Williams now then. That's on his <laughs> Sweeney on his own right there. Yeah, they knew a penalty was coming the way, I think. I didn't see his arm go out, but uh, it doesn't matter, he's right. I would shove this oh, in the oh, corner, oh. wouldn't you, at this time? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him on. On the yeah. one, clock John, on the please, stadium, sir. which seems to be running a bit faster than the clock you can see there. Yeah, no attempt at all to, uh, no, to actually catch that, was a Simply slapped it oh, down. Here we go. Good Here's... run, though, isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm saying you don't want him to on the, his hands on the balls as often as you can. Yeah. Is it here? It's on. Kanyani Shivangi coming on into the front row. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, I beg your pardon. It's Tim Dulane coming on into the back row instead of Scott Berger. And Shivangi is, in, is on in the front row instead of Oz Durant. Wales, though, will want to keep it more towards the touchlines and the line-outs. John, push them back. Let's keep positive now. Mevin Davis. Prepares to throw to what? Is this his first line out? Time running out for Wales to score again. Brent Cobain. Keep it up, keep they, it up. The red shirts cluster around him, but for the moment they're going backwards. There isn't too much room tight against that touchline. Still, on they go. They've got the penalty. South Africa pulling the line out down. This time Wales go open. Sweeney to Jones. Gareth Thomas, the world's record try scorer with 34. Nevin Davis, well tackled. Hands off! We've seen some massive tackles from green shirts. Kerry Sweeney running onto the flat pass Leave from it! Stephen Jones. Michael Owen, good hands. Kerry, it's going to be the try for Henson. Sonny Parker gave him the pass. Five. Wales do score a second try. Way over 60 points have been scored now in this Open International. South Africa have won it, but Wales have continued to fight to the bitter end. Gavin Henson, his second try of the afternoon. Well, he's probably been Wales' best player today. Unfortunately for him, he's on a losing team. Everything's done for him there, but he's in the right position. Here's the finish by Gavin Henson, his second try, and I just think I overheard Paddy O'Brien say five minutes. But if the clock is being stopped, I can't be that much surely. Still, there is more time. I can't see there being five minutes of injury, so I believe it's... Uh... Well, he's capped off a fine performance today, not only as he scored two tries, but he's been powerful in his run. He's worked in defence as well. 
and it will leave Wales finishing on a on a warm feeling, even though they've been beaten. Luke Charteris. Stay green, stay. Stephen Jones oh, off. Brent Russell. On. Nobody's offside. Percy Montgomery. If that goes straight out, did Percy know it was the end of the game? No. There's time. Wales are still nine points behind, but uh, oh, there's plenty of appetite for one last go. South Africa number five, Victor Matthews. Checking the line out call. Brent Cobain winning ball at the front. Evan Davis helps him out. Come out, come out, Brent, come out. Now play advantage. Advantage. Wales takes it. Taken quickly by Dwayne Peel. A bit too quickly, perhaps. On the, four, on the five. Now, what do Wales do? Will they want to get down into that corner for one last play? It's all about the clock. Here goes Stephen Jones. That's a very, very good kick. OK, Brian, here's your big moment, one of your big moments. Who is your Lloyds TSB man of the match? Lloyds TSB man of the match is Victor Matfield for me. He's had a fearless performance in the second race, supplied ball after ball, and he's worked hard in a South African scrum, which has been dominant. Rare to get second rows awarded these things, but uh, I think he's had a big influence in the game. Advantage! Wales with another, another penalty advantage being played their way. Shanklin goes through. Marius Joubert back for South Africa, Slow but Wales had no advantage. South Africa slowing it down, so... Still time for Wales to score another try. They scored from their last quickly taken penalty. Stephen Jones going for the corner again, just checks. Is there time for all this? Well, the time after this one, they'll have to play on, so... Uh, mind you, the only fact he would mitigate against this decision, which in circumstances ordinarily he would wholeheartedly support, is the fact that the Wales lineup has not been infallible. There's Victor Matfield, Brian's man of the match. Towering presence at the line out. John Smith having a word with Paddy O'Brien. The game is in the bag for South Africa, but Wales are enjoying a good little period, an encouraging little period. This is the first game of their long international season. Many encouraging signs from it. Of course, South Africa will be off to a winning start to the tour. They want to make a Grand Slam no, tour, no, a change at scrum half ball, as well. Man. Michael Klaassen <laughs> on four. Fury Dupria. Line-out ball one. For Wales, on comes the big drive. South Africa have got men in the wrong side. Wales reset the drive. And reset it again, inching their way towards the line. That is a penalty, by any standard. Surely that was dragged down. By any standard. Down, fellas, turnover. No penalty, just a turnover to wow, South Africa. Wow, the South Africans have many in the wrong side. Tulsa ran in, in front of the back foot. Wales, please, out here, out here. So, the chance here, may have been lost. Come on. Unless Guys, please, that on new look one, South African up. front row with Yanni Shimangi, CJ van der Linden in there. Stay on. Are they more Stay. vulnerable? They seem to be a bit. They've gone up. Good drive by Wales. Knock on, says the referee. Oh no, no, he's gone for he's gone for video, gone for video analysis. Dwayne Peel may have snuck in there for the try. He couldn't have seen it at all there. Oh. Paddy O'Brien is caught. Not expecting that, as indeed neither were we, I would beg to suggest. But have the Wales front five caused not a sensation, but certainly 
A huge surprise, watch this. And the loose head has slipped out, look, he's miles outside. Oh, he's done it, that's yes, a try. Yes, he has, that's a try, yeah, that's a try. Yeah, that's a try. All sorts of bother there. That's a try? Yep, that's a try. Thank you. Try awarded. Wales get their third. What a good game Dwayne Peel has had. 38-36 in the quarter zone. No, 38 for Just wow. two points, but Wales will not have a chance to reduce it any further or to overtake it because Paddy O'Brien brings the match to an end. A really encouraging performance by Wales. They stuck at it all the way through, but they've lost to South Africa. But how close it was at the end. Wales 36, South Africa 38. 74 points scored. What a way to get the Autumn Test Series underway. Jonathan Davis, how encouraged were you by the manner in which Wales performed this afternoon and the manner in which they finished that match, which was a terrific one. Yeah, very encouraged actually. I just, I think they'd be disappointed purely because they made far too many errors. If they had cut those errors out, they would have been in the match a little bit longer. I think South Africa eased off a little bit. As the, as the game got looser, Wales came back into it. But, uh, you know, knowing Mike Ruddock and, and how the boys have worked, the scrum went well, you know, in, in some aspects of the game, you know, especially in, on the, uh, in the South African 22, but far too many errors, and that's what they'll try and eradicate from, uh, from their performance. But, you know, give them a lot of confidence now for the remainder of the uh, Autumn Test Series. Well, the story of the match, it was a first half largely dominated by South Africa, two tries to nil, the power of Montgomery, the support of Van Nierkirk provided try number two. But Wales stayed in touch, 23-12 at half-time. And South Africa had star flanker Skalberger Sinbin for the start of the second half. How Wales took advantage minutes after they were denied a penalty try, over went Gavin Henson to put Wales within a point. And it was followed by huge pressure from South Africa, immense defence by the Welsh, Jean de Villiers eventually forcing the opening. And then it was Brent Russell feeding Percy Montgomery. The floodgates look set to open at this point, but it wouldn't be a rout. Gavin Henson with his second try of the match. And then Dwayne Peel set up what almost was a huge climax. 36-38, Wales beaten today. And this was how the Welsh finished. They finished with pride, that's for sure. The South Africa win by 38 points to 36. Let's go down to Jill for some reaction. Well, Victor, congratulations. Uh, a win in the end, but my goodness me, it was close. Is that what you expected? Yeah, always. If you come to um, Wales, play the Welsh, they're very passionate about the rugby, and yeah, they played well. We did go at the end there, but um, luckily it's a win. On the evidence of this match, do you think you can go on and win this Grand Slam? Yeah, it's the first time for us. We only got um, together a week ago. From here on, we can just go forward, and um, we believe we can do it, but um, we're focusing on Ireland and leaving the rest of the tour for itself. It's a different story to the match in Pretoria. Is this a better Wales performance or a poorer performance from the Springboks? I think they played very well. Um, we didn't play that well. Um, like I said, um, we let it go at the end there, but um, hopefully next week we'll play a full 80 minutes. When you've had time to reflect on this one, what do you think you'll need to change if you are going to go through this series unbeaten? Yeah, I think we'll have to pick up everything. Um, the wet weather is a bit different. Maybe just see how we play the ball and keep the ball in hand and um, build some phases. Well, congratulations. And I believe this is a first for you, Victor, but you are indeed the Lloyds TSB Man of the Match. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. Thank you. Yes, for sure, Jerry. He played well in a largely unconvincing South African side this afternoon. I have to say, I was looking forward to watching South Africa play, and uh, they disappointed me. And I think they, they disappointed themselves. Um, I think they, they went there out and played as if they knew they were going to win. They kind of um, they were like they, they played a lot of counter attack this afternoon. It's a bit like watching Arsenal play. I mean, when at home Arsenal break in in a moment, and that's what South Africa did today. They penalised Wales there, but. I think Eddie O'Sullivan of Ireland and Andy Robinson will look at that defensive pattern that they play. They don't hit rucks and they don't hit uh, malls. So England's pack and Ireland's pack will exploit that weakness. OK, let's go back swiftly to Jill for some reaction from the Welsh camp. 
minutes is one that you could have won. Yeah, definitely. I think the first 15 minutes of the game we let ourselves down. Um, we didn't come out. We didn't come out, sorry, and uh, and play like we had planned. And I think we let South Africa bring the game to us, and you know that's where they won the game. No fairness to them. Because you did seem to grow in confidence as the game went on. Do you feel perhaps you went into this match a little bit intimidated by the reputation of these Springboks? Um, I'm not sure intimidated. You know, the boys knew the reputations uh, of the South Africans and knew they were a great team. And, you know, it's the first time we played together, but no excuses. You know, after 15 minutes, we proved that we were a great team. But, you know, unless you play for 80 minutes against teams like this, then you're not going to win. At 22 23, did you think you, you were going to win this one? Yeah, I was quite disappointed with the boys. We spoke in the post, I think, when I went to 22 23, we defended, you know, the one point deficit instead of really attacking for more. Um, it, was, it seemed like only when we was a try behind did we really actually try and uh, try and go for it. So yeah, that's something we can learn and you know it's a space of games now. We've got three more games and three important games and you know we've got to progress from this and we've got to win games. I asked uh, Victor Matfield the same question but following on from that match in Pretoria where of course they beat you solidly. Do you think that this is a big improvement from Wales or do you think that they're perhaps not, not the team they were? Oh, no, I think South Africa are a fabulous team and I think you know credit to them but I think we've got to give credit to our boys we are improving um, we've still got a lot to work on we've got a lot, lot of youngsters in the team who are very talented and nurtured in the right way and be world-class players and you know I think some of them show today um, why they are such uh, exciting prospects well if South Africa are the best team in the southern hemisphere does this mean uh, that the All Blacks shouldn't cause you too many problems <laughs> I wish no obviously that's one of the mighty games we've also got Romania before then but you know New Zealand's gonna be a huge game with Steve Hansen Graham Henry coming back but like I say we've got to progress from here and we've got to go into games believing we can win Thanks very much, Gareth. Gareth Thomas a wee bit disappointed because he knew that Wales had their opportunities this afternoon. The big opportunity came immediately after half-time with Berger off and uh, the Welsh with the opportunity to apply the pressure. Yeah, you know, this is... Um, I think David Jones breaks out here, bangs Percy out of the way, and then, you know, quick ball, and it's a great angle by Gavin Henson. Cuts inside, Joubert, great step, and finishes. I thought they were, you know... Re in with a real chance there. This is the clout that uh, Percy gets. <laughs> Bangs it down, puts him on his backside. And the good thing about that, they recycle the ball very, very quickly, and defence was unorganised. But I thought, again, um, Van Nieken before that, yeah. after Dwayne Peel made a break, should have been in the bin. And that could have been even more significant for Wales. Ten minutes off again for uh, Nieken. But again, I thought it was very weak refereeing today. Very yeah. weak. Should have been a penalty try. The refereeing didn't penalty get any try better. And the it? yellow card. Yeah, definitely a yellow card. Not sure about penalty try. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the yellow card anyway. <laughs> okay. So Berger back on, and South Africa seemingly taking control once again. There was some desperate defence, but some fairly strong defence as well. Eventually, South Africa got through. They did. I'm not sure of your analysis. Did you do your yeah. analysis on that? I think on this look, what happens is, on the first one, De Villiers comes in, and that's just. A simple move, simple inside ball. If you watch it here, as the ball comes out, De Villiers is circled there. It's just a simple inside ball. He's going to cut on this angle. There's nowhere else to go. Ryan Jones gets up. He should fill that hole, and the back row should fill that hole. Unfortunately, they drift too far sideways. Instead of going up and then across, they go across first, and he comes inside Ryan Jones. It makes it a tougher tackle because he runs at his inside shoulder. If he just pushes up, then drifts, he can smash him. Mm -hmm. Even with um, uh, David Jones coming in, he should have stopped him. It, it Again, was weak. the tries that they've scored, South Africa, OK, one, one lovely, lovely try, but more so from turnovers and missed tackles. Yeah. And that's where I think Wales, you know, third, only two points. But they'll be disappointed mm. because they felt they should have done better. And the things that they could have improved on could have won them the game. And that was the story of the last South African try as well. Brent Russell setting up Percy Montgomery there. Here it is. Yeah, it's just, again, turnover, ball comes out. This, this is the money ball, over the top. Jacques Van der and takes it. Again, you know, it's a great tackle by, by Henson. Good support play. But that opportunity arose because of another mistake by Shane Williams. Yeah, and this is what they've done all through the match. They've just penalised heavily the Welsh mistakes. And, I mean, you're looking at some serious, serious athletes there. I don't think they're thinking too much on their feet, but given that they just sniff out the weakness and away they go. Mm. I just, I'd like to, play, I'd like to see them play a bit more sensibly, like we saw in the Tri-Nations. They were so powerful away from home, brilliant at home. And, OK, this is their first game. Hopefully, they're just going to get better. OK, it wasn't the full story, thank goodness. Back came Wales with a couple of late tries, which we'll reflect on in a moment.